Hello everyone. In this video, we'll look at how to search for records in the biomedical and pharma databases that reference adverse effects of a specific drug. This type of search is very commonly done in dialog and is especially critical for anyone who's developing or marketing a drug or who is responsible for doing the medical literature monitoring or pharmacovigilance searching for the marketing authorization holder. Similar searches are also important for medical devices, but in this video, we'll use a drug as our example. So let's get started. When you're doing an adverse effects search, you'll want to make your own choices about database selection. For example, if you're researching a medical device, you may want a combination of medical and engineering databases. So this is just an example of one way to do this kind of search. For this demonstration, we are in Embase, Medline, and Biosis. And we're going to search for records that talk about adverse effects of the drug Digitalis. This is a heart drug that's been available for many years. I'll begin an advanced search and click on Thesaurus, which shows that we're in two databases that have Thesauri, Embase and also Medline, which has the Mesh Thesaurus. I'll select Embase, and in this box, I'll type Digitalis, then click Find. In this box, I'll select Digitalis, then from these results, I'll go to Digitalis and click on it. The relational view shows that there are no narrower terms, and the sticky pad notes show a number of synonyms or related terms that may be of interest later in our non-thesaurus search. Clicking the funnel, we see the qualifiers, and in Embase, there's a tab for drug. Here I'm going to select Adverse Drug Reaction, Drug Toxicity, and also Special Consideration for Pharmacovigilance. Again, this is just an example, and you may want to make different selections. To learn more about how each of these qualifiers is used in the database, you can click these down arrows to see the scope notes. Now I'll click Add to Search, and this creates the search for me in Advanced Search in the proper format. So I can run that Embase search now by just clicking Preview Result Counts, and we see how many results we got down here as Set 1. Next, I'll go back to Thesaurus. Digitalis is still filled in, and I'll click on Select Another Thesaurus to go to the Mesh Thesaurus for my Medline search. I click Find, and here, as in Embase, we see that Digitalis has no narrower terms, so there's no need to consider using Explode. I'll take a quick look at the notes to see the synonyms, and then go to the qualifiers. Here, my selections will be Adverse Effects, Poisoning, and Toxicity, but you may want to choose others. Click Add to Search, and now the Medline search is created, and I can click Preview Result Counts to create Set 2. Now, we're ready to create a search that does not use a thesaurus. We'll need that in order to get records from Biosis, which has no thesaurus, but this will also enhance our results in Embase and Medline. The first thing I want to do after clearing the form is create my search for the drug, Digitalis. And before I even run that search, I'm going to click Include Medical Synonyms. This adds a number of terms to my search, and you may recognize some of them from the sticky pad notes that we saw in the thesauri. And it looks like now we've got the drug term search well covered. Notice the medical synonym search has also added a set of parentheses around all these synonyms that are ordered together. And that is helpful because what I'm going to do now is to add some field limitations to this search. This is optional, and you can make your own choices about this. But I'm going to type ti, comma, ab, comma, su, comma, subst in front of the open parenthesis. So I'll be searching specifically in the title and abstract fields, as well as the subject headers, which in Embase and Medline would include the thesaurus headers, and also in the substance field, subst. This is a helpful search field, which will work with trade names as well as any generic names you may be searching on to identify your drug. And you can find out more about that in the Pro Sheet 
for any of the databases that you're in. Now, I want to add my terms for the adverse effects part of the search. And to capture the concept of adverse effects, I'll want to include some terms like side effects or untoward event or unexpected reaction and so on. So I'm just going to copy paste one version of that search that I sometimes use. But here again, this is something you'll want to decide for your own needs. I'll put it here in the second row so you can see it better. Some searchers, for example, might also want to or in some specific effects that they're watching out for, such as seizure or death or kidney or renal damage and so on, if you want to. And I'm limiting this also to the same fields, title, abstract, subject, and substance, although that's up to you. And when I run that, I have another set that includes records from all of the databases that I'm in. And you see, this retrieved a lot of records, and comparing this to the results I got from the thesaurus searches, even considering that now I'm searching in biosis as well, it seems to me this is just too broad. One way I might adjust for that is to replace this AND connector with a proximity connector so that the drug terms have to be within a certain number of words from the adverse effect terms. So I'll just replace this AND connector with NEAR slash 5, or I could abbreviate it N slash 5. I'll run that, and I'll go back to advanced search. And now it seems to me the number of results is what I would reasonably expect, and it's consistent with the other sets. So I'm going to use this as my non-thesaurus search for adverse effects of this drug. And now, all I need to do is combine this set with the two thesaurus search sets using the OR connector. I could use a search box to type S1 or S2 or S4, or I can just check these set numbers and click OR. And now we're done. On the results list, we can see that in this case, because the drug has been around for so many years, some of these records are quite old, so you'd probably want to add a date limit to the last few years before you start to review these records. I'll make it from 2018 forward, and that is our search for adverse effects of this drug. So that's it. To review, first we created search sets using the thesauri in two databases, in this case Embase and Medline. Then we created a plain language term search without a thesaurus using the basic format of combining terms for the drug with some terms representing adverse effects. And then finally, we used OR to combine the Embase and Medline thesaurus search sets with the plain language term search, and we were done. Once again, this isn't meant to be followed as a strict template. We find our customers like to create a customized search based on their own needs or the nature of the drug or medical device. But this will give you a basic idea of how you can structure a search that suits your own purposes for finding references in the literature to the adverse effects of any drug or medical device using Dialog. In our next video, I'll show you how to use Dialog to maintain current awareness for medical literature monitoring by creating an alert so that Dialog will notify you automatically of any new records that match your strategy. And then, for pharmaceutical professionals, we'll have a look at the Drug Safety Triager, also from Dialog Solutions, which is a fully validated system that works together with Dialog Alerts to keep your medical literature monitoring efficient, streamlined, and in full and consistent compliance with the regulator's requirements, as well as helping to create the necessary reports in the required format. If you'd like more information, here are some links to additional resources. And if you have questions or you'd like some help, feel free to call the help desk at these numbers or email us at customer at dialogue.com. Thanks for using Dialog and enjoy the rest of your day.